What is up guys? So today I am continuing the build. Now that I got the engine running, uh, I'm gonna be starting the fuel system so that I don't have to have people stand at the feed and return lines and try and get it in a bucket. Got myself a fuel cell, 15 gallon eBay special. <laughs> so yeah, here's, here's the engine right now. Just looking mighty, mighty good. Also, yeah. It's a little custom work by me. I'm debating what I want to do right now. Um, I'm going to be cutting the trunk. So let me just take you back here. This is the spare tire hole. I think I'm going to cut it all the way around and drop it out completely. And then kind of leave the sides as they are so I could mount my battery over there or here or something like that. And it is a bottom mount fuel cell, so I won't have to make a little cage around the top of it or anything, just bolt it at the bottom and uh, it'll be good to go. Easy removal, easy install, lines run right out, right up to the front of the car using the factory lines. I have tons and tons and tons of fittings that I have to use. This one here, this vibrant fitting, it's a 5 16th tube to a dash 6 AN, so it's actually like a compression fitting and it'll go right on my fuel line and then my dash six lines from the cell will go directly to that or from the pump and all that other stuff. So I have a Walbro pump that I got, a 255 inline pump. I already put dash six fittings on each end of it and I have a dash six inline fuel filter as well. I have a dual filter uh, bracket I'm waiting on um, and then that should be ready to get plumbed and everything, but at least I could uh, get this thing in there and then start making the lines to get it to the engine. So let's start cutting. Okay, so I scribed a pretty shit line around here to follow. Uh, I'm gonna cut that out. There's a piece down here on the back bulkhead type deal. I think I'm gonna leave that for right now and then when I get this spare tire, hole out of the way, then I will cut out what I have to. Plug this in and then here goes nothing. All right, so it's cut out. Um, now that I got the majority of that cut out, I can pretty much get the rest of this crap out and uh, make it look a little cleaner. So there's definitely enough room on the sides over here and there and uh, to put a battery whenever I decide to do that. And uh, yeah, now I just gotta pretty much clean this up a little bit and I'll be good to go. Okay, so we're going to, not like the, the chip dip, not queso, like, okay. So right now we're making a box around the box. Here's our cut pieces. And then we're gonna mount it in the trunk. Let's, let's watch, shall we?
Pretty good. Look at that shit. What? And I'm just gonna tack it on here. Hope it doesn't fucking destroy itself when I take the bolt out. All right, I have the fuel cell all mounted up. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm about to run the lines and uh, do all the other stuff like that. So I'll give you a quick look and show you what I did. I have to finish weld pretty much the uh, mount in the trunk, but I kind of threw some one inch beads on all four of these little rails here. So like right here is one of my caps. This is a vent, so I'm gonna come out of here and go right out over there. So it'll vent out um, down here. There's the feed and return, it sticks out. Well, that about does it for today. Spent a long time on this, I'm kind of tired. I was already at work today and everything too, so tomorrow's Easter, so probably won't be here. Yeah, the next video is gonna be me hooking up all the lines and everything and uh, getting fuel to the engine and probably lots of leaks. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Car's coming along, slowly but surely. It's getting there. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.